Disclaimer. This video is only for the people above the age of 18 plus. Due to the mentions of NSFW, 18 plus stuff, doxing, toxicity, Bible, and Tourette's. I also was really angry due to my burns on my back from sunlight, which is why I occasionally was enraged. So please, viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to my ridiculous drama series where I look over ridiculous dramas that are currently happening on YouTube, Instagram or Discord. And let me just tell you, this is a YouTube drama and for some reason it's still continuing. And so I've decided to make this video and also we'll put some questions first so I will go through each and one of them till the end. And if you are wondering how long this drama is, it's, uh, it's still happening and it's more than one years old and it's absolutely ridiculous but anyways um, uh, these questions are there's total I've decided to put in total six questions so first question who is Brandon Locks second what is the Brandon Locks drama about third why do I defend Brandon Locks fourth is Brandon Locks the victim fifth why making a second channel to talk about Braden Locks? And the sixth question, when will this drama end? Keep in mind that I'll probably do part two of this video if people would be interested. So if you are interested, to just join my Discord or like the video. I am not forcing you to like my video or join my Discord. That's completely up to you to decide. Um, anyways, let's, um, let's begin. Who is Brayden Locks? Brayden Locks or Scott Evil Chidu is a 20 years old man. He likes to draw and also likes to do animations. However, if I were to bring Brayden Locks' past here, he also drew NSFW. However, he stopped drawing NSFW and realized how bad it is, especially when he made a community tab where he apparently um, where apparently his parents and school he went to found out he drew NSFW and that's why he ultimately quit from it and uh, also he did a reddit post uh, he, where he also ultimately uh, wrote something about that he quit drawing NSFW Brandon Locks made a lot of characters most of these characters depicted his obsessions with toilets which is from my perspective fine um, you can have obsession with whatever you want I have obsession with parsley, so therefore his obsession with toilets is fine from my perspective. What is the Brayden Logs drama about? Brayden Logs drama is mainly about the fact that Brayden Logs drew a lot of NSFW. However, as I said previously, he stopped drawing NSFW and I have to be perfectly honest here. I personally don't even know what the fuck the drama is about anymore. It's constantly the same fucking thing being brought back up from the past where many people constantly say that Brandon Locks draws NSFW. But as I said previously, he stopped drawing NSFW and most of the stuff could even be faked by haters or professional artists. However, I've also heard a rumor where Brandon Locks drew apparently CP. This is rather confusing. This is rather confusing because uh, I haven't seen any artwork uh, related to an actual kids in Braden Locks posts. This includes his Instagram too, by the way. Even if he did drew CP of an actual real life kid, then what image or video under the title 18 section 2256 of the U.S. Code mentions the exact thing Braden Locks could have done? Because as I said previously, everything can be faked with ease, and I still don't believe Braden Locks drew CP, and I won't believe he drew it, because he didn't, and I did not see any proof of it, not even an H sheet in this particular manner. Third question: Why do I defend Braden Locks? To tell this to you in more described manner, I used to be in Braden Locks' shoes. Not that I drew NS any NSFW or kids, but that I also was part of one drama in particular that genuinely changed me forever. Keep the world, 
keep the word changed in your mind for now. I myself got exposed due to one picture and I basically made more than 12,000 people pissed off on me. This caused my mental health to decline so much I turned to Jesus and also went to therapist due to my severe depression and even had self-destruction thoughts. Therefore, this situation from my perspective looks like my situation from a year ago and I won't go down that easily and neither will Braden Locks. Another reason as to why I defend him is because of the fact that people nowadays use their use their audience as a weapon. I'm talking about you, Crimsonita, by the way, to attack other people and get them deplatformed and get their information leaked, which is fucked up on many levels. But more on that later. I will continue defending Brandon Locks because I know that from my perspective, he has changed and is completely a different man. Fourth question, is Brandon Locks the victim? In my eyes, yes, he is a victim. Why? Let me bring the past again to this. Brandon Locks gave up on the drama. He didn't want any part of it anymore. He wanted to do his normal YouTube gaming videos. He wanted to be fine, but unfortunately for him, people again decided to hate on him, which is why I believe he is the victim now. He wanted to quit the drama, but unfortunately he cannot escape it. This also brings me to my next point, which is uh, what, which is that people who talk about him um, now are the actual attackers. Sure, Braden Locks went a bit more toxic, but uh, did he had a choice? He decided to fight back and um, now most of the messages that people <laughs> that people screenshot about him are just toxic words and I can't blame Brandon Locks for being toxic. I was toxic in my drama too. I personally believe that if I were to fight back <clears throat> it would be fine and I would be uh, understood but unfortunately I was not understood and I believe this is also what's happening right now as I'm speaking. So yes, I believe Brandon Locks is the victim. As for the people uh, that only took screenshots of his toxic words, uh, rebuild the whole conversation and not just the message without understanding why he sent it in the first place. If it is a, like, it is a absolute cowardice move for the people to show a message without letting others to understand its context. Fifth question. Why making a second channel to talk about Braden and Locks? What I mean behind this question is a channel called Braden and Locks Needs to Go. It's a literal hate channel about Braden and Locks and also, for some reason, stealing his content without his permission, which I believe Braden and Locks could copyright strike one day. Whoever is behind Brandon Locks needs to go channel my buddy. You need to get a life. Seriously, I cannot imagine dedicating my time to one guy stalking his every move and it doesn't help that by saying keeping an eye on him doesn't mean that it's not stalking. Because it is stalking. This also includes the fact that Brandon Locks got doxxed and his actual house address leaked as well. I of course mean Crimson Adolf who threatened to swat Brandon Locks's house with uh, her fans in her discord to literally fucking kill him. Don't you think that this is more fucked up than uh, the stuff Brandon Locks did? I personally believe that uh, having your literal house address and the exact location of where you live revealed to the public is more fucked up than drawing NSFW. Nobody deserves to be doxxed, nobody deserves their name to be revealed to the public, not even their work location, nothing. It should be kept private, including uh, Braden Locks's private information. Final question. When will this drama end? The way I believe this drama could end is by putting everyone who's talking about Brayden Locks, every channel that talks about him or have talked about him, 
that we all need to get into one voice call. One simple voice call to discuss our differences and our issues against one another. And I want to be like a peaceful diplomat, like perfectly neutral Switzerland, to discuss it all. All of the exposés, all of the issues, all of the drama videos, everything. This drama has been going for over than a fucking year and it's pissing me off. If the people that talk negatively about the brain unlocks, uh, watch this video right now, uh, join my discord and I will put us in all into one voice call, including Brandon Locks himself, or probably even Crimson Ada. But to give a second answer to this question, I believe it's mostly about uh, who this drama is mostly about who can expose one another the most till they give up. That's how this feels to me, and the chances are that's exactly how this could end. Because this drama is of course ridiculous and as I said previously I see Brayden Locks to be the victim and the people that are attacking him are doing it for views and power hunger. It is absolutely ridiculous how people can't move on and simply accept the fact that no matter what they'll try to do Brayden Locks will always be here. I also believe that people that are talking and attacking about the uh, Brain unlocks need Jesus. So, so let me read two quotes from the Bible you should keep in your mind. Luke uh, 6, uh, 6 27, uh, 30, 27. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on one cheek, turn Turn to them the other also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give and give to everyone who asks of you. And if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. And the second Bible quote, Ephesians 4.32 And be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as God of Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment down your opinion in the comments on what you think about this drama and also don't forget to join my discord so we can have more discussions and also don't forget to eat some parsley. Have a good day and goodbye.